Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Simple Colors Shimmy Shimmy. I'm going to make decals using the Vibrant Vinyls. Vinyls. <laughs> I've started with Danny Digits Glitter Be Gone and here is Shimmy Shimmy by Simple Colors. I'm going to go in and cap my free edge first and remove this little fuzzy. Got it stuck over there between my nail and my finger. And I'm going to take Woody up under there because I kind of got it globbed up and I don't like it like that. So I'm going to get that off there real quick. Now, as you can see on my other nails, this is very sheer on the first coat. Um, but, oh, it's just so pretty. It's just got so much shimmy shimmy going in it that it is perfectly named. It's a blurple in my opinion. It's really hard to tell when I put it by my purple polishes it looks blue and when I put it by the blue polishes it looks purple so hi Woody how you doing cleaning up my mess again here we go we're gonna go in with our second coat and it's building up really nicely but I am gonna go in with that third coat I've already made up my mind that it's gonna require three and that is totally fine with me the layers are drying pretty fast here we go with that third and final coat. Got a very, very nice formula. I'm really enjoying this polish. This is one my friend Shannon sent me. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. This is the top coat that I found at Walmart. It's hit or miss. Sometimes I find it, sometimes I don't. I always look, and if I find it, I grab one just because it's good. So there we go. I'm going to cap that free edge with the top coat. And now here are the Vibrant Vinyls. I'm just going to use one of these stickers today. I'm going to peel it off of their thing. And I'm going to leave this in and let y'all see the struggles of me just trying to lay a sticker on the mat. This girl has issues. But I'm sure if I have them, y'all may have them too. So what it is is it's sticking to my finger. And when I try to like release it's just that nice and sticky that I don't want to let go of my finger. So there we go. I've got it down on the mat. I'm going to be using this Kiss Gel and this is inside out. It's a dark purple cream. And I'm just going to brush over, kind of dab, make sure that polish is getting down into all those little nooks and crannies of this vinyl decal here. This vinyl. I don't know what I'm calling a vinyl decal. Like I don't know. Um, but I'm just going over it and trying to make sure everything's got something on it. And then I'm going to use my little tweezers to pull it up. And then I'm going to replace it back down on the mat. And using the tweezers, I'm just tapping it down, making sure that it's laying flat. Again. And then I'm going to go in and fill that one in with some of this beautiful purple. And I was really pleased with this and I do believe that I could have gotten like five maybe even ten decals made using this one stencil I do believe that that would have worked just fine Trying to get make sure it's nice and covered and then once again I'm gonna remove it before it starts drying real good and it is kind of boogered up in that corner but my nails aren't that long so I'm okay with it so I'm gonna go in and I'm dabbing in the super dry this is what I get from the Dollar Tree um, I like this for decal making um, but I am just kind of dabbing it in and smearing it about just a bit um, I did not want to smear the design I will leave it in I'm sure I did there was at one point I thought I was smearing it so you know I had to wipe the tip of the, there we go there it is see I knew it was in there I'm wiping that off on my paper towel and then I'm going back in and being careful just to drip, kind of drag slightly and just let that be. It has totally dried under my air dryer a bit, but it was still funky. So um, I've decided I'm going to go ahead and it's thick. So I'm putting this fast and hard, fast dry top coat on it, which I normally do not recommend for making decals. But I just want this one to dry solid. Because when I tried to go pull that one up, it was still, it was dry on top, but it was still wet underneath. So I just put that stuff on it and dried it for about 15 more minutes. 
Now I'm going to go in and put this yellow stopper. It's kind of a sticky base. I'm doing a very dry brush method and getting that nail something tacky on it for this decal to stick to. Going in with my little cuticle pusher from Sally's and peeling up this vinyl decal or this decal that I made from the vinyl. I'm really liking this process though. I didn't execute it perfectly or anything but as you see that's why I'm only doing two nails I'm doing accent nails because when I do something new I like to keep it down to the accent nails that way if I get frustrated I'm not stuck with having to do you know all five or all ten nails so I'm rubbing that one down real good making sure and it's sticking in and I'm gonna take this um, cuticle cutter tool thing go around the edge try to break that seal and it's breaking apart really well it's coming off very nicely but now I've got all this overhang here so I'm gonna have to break up my little snippy scissors and cut that off and here we go we're gonna go in with the next one I did use the snippy scissors you'll get to see me use them on this one just trying to mush it down and using the quick dry top coats it's it does make them decals dry faster but it leaves them a little less pliable so next time I'm just gonna have to use another coat of the um, super dry and just put it under my nail dryer and let it dry until it's dry but you know patience is not one of my things I am using the other end of that cuticle pusher trying to mush this decal down flat I have a couple of places where it was kind of lumped up and I'm using this cuticle tool to kind of mush that down and make sure it's sticking to the side. Now we're going to go in with our acetone and cleanup brush. Now as you can see, I'm kind of pushing and dabbing. I'm trying to get that decal wet with the acetone. Doing my little tap tap across the end. Trying to melt that part down. And I'm sorry the camera's blurry on this part. Um, when I got around to editing this video, I was like, oh goodness, but you know, I can't go back and redo it. Well, I'm just not going to go back and redo it. If I'm going to have to take this off and do something else. I'm doing something else. I'm not doing the same thing again. So um, we're just going to make do with what we have this time. I'm going in up under the nail to make sure there's no clumps under there because that makes me just crazy to have a lump of nail polish under my nail. But I am just working that, and you will have to do that. Just work it until you like it. I'm using my finger to kind of tap on the end. So there we go. I think we got that pretty much done. You can see it's a little lumpy, but when I put my top coat on, it kind of smooths it out some more. Now, I did smudge some of the polish off the tip, so I'm going to do kind of like some dry brush repair down here on just the tip just to make it nice and noticeable and then I'm going to top this one with some of the fast and hard top coat from Vibrant Vinyls um, I wanted something really nice and thick to help smooth those little crinkle wrinkles out and it worked pretty well I wouldn't say it was perfect or anything I wouldn't want to put these under a microscope but for the most part they're fine I really did like this. I enjoy getting to play with the vinyls. Hi, Woody, back again. There it is. So I have a swatch photo coming up real soon. I would love to hear what you think about this. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.